Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about polyhydramnios, also called hydramnios. So, what is polyhydramnios? Poly means multiple or more. Hydramnios means too much water, too much amniotic fluid. So, high volume of amniotic fluid in excess of 2000 ml is called polyhydramnios. Some authors say in the range of 1500 ml to 2000 ml, normal volume of amniotic fluid at 37 weeks of pregnancy is 700 to 1000 ml. Okay, as the pregnancy advances, the amount of amniotic fluid increases. Suppose at 12 weeks of pregnancy, amount of amniotic fluid is around 50 ml. So, polyhydramnios happens when the fetus does not swallow or unable to swallow. We can say fetus does not swallow or fetus is unable to swallow. Usual amount of amniotic fluid. In the late term of pregnancy, a fetus usually swallow around half liters of amniotic fluid and urinate around half liter or 500 ml of urine. So what happened in polyhydramnios? Fetus is not swallowing the fluid. So fluid is added to the system and there will be polyhydramnios. Causes, we don't know the causes in many cases. We call it idiopathic. So unknown cause in many cases. Maybe 60%, maybe in certain statistics, maybe more than 30%. But this is the most common cause of polyhydramnios. Maternal factor. Maternal diabetes mellitus is an important factor for, for polyhydramnios. Idea is that maternal hyperglycemia glucose will go through the placental circulation to the fetus, and fetal fetus due to glucose there will be diuresis. So there will be excessive urination by the fetus to the amniotic cavity. So there will be addition of amniotic fluid. So that may lead to polyhydramnios due to maternal diabetes mellitus. Fetal factor, we have many fetal factor. Suppose in anencephaly or marrow anencephaly, the skull bone, the vault of the skull is missing. Brain is very much degenerated, head is open, and only the brain stem is remaining. So the swallowing mechanism of the fetus is not working. So in case of anencephaly or any other type of neural tube defect, that may lead to polyhydramnios. Esophageal atresia, so the lumen is blocked. There is no recanalization or canalization of the esophagus. So the fetus cannot swallow the amniotic fluid. So there will be excessive accumulation of the amniotic fluid. RH incompatibility, that may be a possibility that may also lead to polyhydramnios. Okay, there is polyhydramnios may be associated with fetal anemia. Deuteronal atresia, there is also a factor. Deuteronal atresia, fetus cannot swallow the amniotic fluid. And if you do the ultrasonography, you will get the double bubble sign here. Tracheoesophageal fistula, tracheoesophageal fistula is in most cases associated with esophageal atresia. Okay, there will be communication between the trachea and esophagus, and the distal part, proximal part to distal part of the esophagus are discontinuous. There is the region for polyhydramnios in association with that of tracheoesophageal fistula because esophagus continuity is lost. 
and there is connection of esophagus to the trachea. Okay, so polyhydramnios or hydramnios occurs in about one to two percent of the pregnancies. So, what are the problems with polyhydramnios? In most cases, it is tolerable. Maybe abdomen very much protruded in pregnant women. Okay, but many cases they can tolerate. But if it is severe polyhydramnios, may lead to shortness of breath to the pregnant women with polyhydramnios, amniotic rupture, amniotic membrane rupture. Okay, there is a possibility amniotic membrane rupture and premature delivery of the baby. Diagnosis by ultrasonography. The ultrasonologist make the amniotic fluid index as a guide. So if it is 5 to 15, indicates normal. If it is 15 above above 15, then it is polyhydramnios. If it is less than 5, then it is oligohydramnios. Management should be monitored and managed by an obstetrician. And obstetrician may go through amniocentesis, may give some type of medication like endomethacin. It is totally according, according to the condition, may be induction of the lever, may do the C section, depending on the judgment of the obstetrician. And that's all about the polyhydramnios. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel and please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.